Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Again MRI, and this is a female in her late 30s, exercises a lot, and she's having right hip pain. The doctor thought she may have a stress fracture, and that's exactly what she has. So this is a classic bread and butter type stress fracture of the right femur. So this is the femoral head, femoral neck here, and then this is a lesser trochanter, greater trochanter. So this is the femoral neck region, and usually they're right along the medial margin of the femoral neck. You see some cortical thickening, maybe a little transverse band of low signal there with a halo of edema, and it's exactly what we have. Often the uh, fracture lines will be a little bit bigger. The stress fracture lines will be a little bit uh, better defined on the T1 images here. But this one is just a mild or maybe mild to moderate stress injury. If I put up another view here, we'll see this a little bit better. This is a fat suppressed protein density sequence. We can see the left side here looking nice, normal uniform low signal. And here we see that stress fracture. You can see that little horizontal transverse component, that little halo of meridema. And again, this is just a classic location here. Cortex does look a little thickened along the medial margin. And here we have one more view of this, a fat suppressed T2 sequence. We see this halo of brightness around the little transverse stress fracture. They also had a really tiny little labral tear on this side and a bigger one on the opposite side. But that is it, just a bread and butter stress fracture of the right femoral neck.